Oregon, the Deep Country Backwards Edition. You want to talk first? Go in order. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm Holly. And I'm Jason. <laughs> we have the Expedition 2.0. It's been amazing, amazing. Did some little, you know, personalization to it. Um, added some solar panels on top and. Um, Got the bike Wi-Fi rack on the booster, back. bike rack on the back. Um, pretty much take it anywhere the Jeep can go. I mm -hmm. pull it behind a 2016 uh, Rubicon uh, four-door. Uh, I do have 488s in it. The reason I, I went with the Expedition is the way the Jeeps don't have a very great uh, trailer uh, tow. So it fit in perfectly. And we tow it. We just got back from a pretty big trip out uh, to the Pacific North Northwest. Northwest. We did seven seven states in two weeks, um, 3,200 miles. 3,200-ish, 3, yep, yep. 3,200 yep. miles, and it was fantastic. We stay places, basically there's no hotels. That was, that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons we love the off-grid trailer, mm -hmm. is there's no hotels okay. anywhere near where we want to stay. Campgrounds full. Um, we were just able to find places and, yep. and say, let's go up this trail, see what's up here. Jason did all the driving, so he told me I have about an hour or two hours of driving left in me, and I would use an app and be like, do you wanna, do you wanna sleep on the side of lava rocks, or do you wanna sleep by this lake tonight, or just the opportunities yeah. of where we could stay and where we could adventure. We had no idea going into it, and that was the most exciting part. Yeah, we used iOverlander a lot for that, it's great. There's a lot of apps out there, and that's specifically one we used. It's, it's been pretty good for us. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we found some stuff that wasn't on there, you know, and it's, uh, the, it's the great thing is you can be in the middle of the woods and shower, um, yeah. just having a shower after being out there. We, we reached temperatures of 104, Five. 104, 105 yeah. degrees and the insulation in the, uh, expedition, it actually stayed comfortable with the fan running. Um, I was amazed. That was actually the biggest test. I've been through the cold. Five degrees, heater, <laughs> wonderful skiing. Um, but I was surprised to see that how cool they stayed with the hot weather and yeah. stuff like that. It was pretty amazing. So we, we've gone from desert to cold degrees. And... We stayed on the beach, had dinner on the beach. We Sand had, dunes. We opened up the sides. <laughs> I, I call it the Swiss Army knife of trailers because we opened up the side. Got some local uh, prawns from the local uh, fishermen. Uh, fishermen and just had a had dinner and people would come up to us and be like wow this is really awesome we're just like yeah, we gave a lot of tours is. yes a lot, a lot of tours, tours. Um, it yeah, was it was it was a blast we definitely couldn't have done it without the trailer um, handled everything we threw at it. It, was, it was pretty pretty sweet oh we were going along 101 on uh, the Oregon coast and we were we knew we were going to be looking for a place and we dipped into this little side road overlooking the Oregon coast it's like, a trail. like a 300 a foot drop the right there and, and uh, I took a video of it, and I was just thinking, it, you'd pay five hundred dollars for Easy. a hotel room Easy. with this, <laughs> with this view, and we had it all to ourselves. The view is not so shabby. There was another a point where we actually found a spot, and we put the drone up in the air to kind of scout to make sure I had at least a place to turn around halfway while we explored. Found out it was fine; it was, it was great. And we headed down there, and we stayed right along uh, the Snake River right next to a hot, hot springs, springs up on a hill we couldn't have, yeah it was just we pulled in it was late we didn't even have to set up it was ready to go we popped in in the morning we woke up had breakfast coffee in the hot springs we had some coffee <laughs> brought down in the hot springs and yeah it opens up a whole different world of freedoms to where you stay and what you see pretty awesome and we have two dogs too so the four of us fit in there comfortably yes we did and the nice thing is having that water we didn't have to worry about do we have water from dogs? We have to refill this. The 30 gallon tanks are. I think I think we went probably at least four or five days without refill, refilling mm -hmm. them. Yeah, I think um, I think it's just great to, to, to be able to literally pack the cooler, grab some clothes, and go. Mm -hmm. The simplicity of it, go for a weekend, go for an overnight, and just go. That's the freedom. I love the freedom about it. It also provides us the security of our two dogs being in the trailer. And of course, we're not going to keep them in there in extreme weather. But we have gone skiing for an hour or two, and they've been there comfortably. You don't have to worry about packing up your car and all. You just hook the thing up, seal the cooler, grab your clothes, 
figure out where you're gonna go. So yeah, that's I think that's the best part of that.